Okay, you ready for this? Oh, let's get you a little bib. Hey, hope all of you are doing good in your part of the world. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick update on what's going on. First of all, I wanted to say thank you to all of you for supporting the channel and making it what it is today and just showing up every weekend to see what's going on here in Japan. Yeah, and I brought this guy along. As you know, my baby Wolverine was born last May. It's been four months now. It's been kind of a, a crazy four months watching this guy grow a lot of sleepless nights but it's been an awesome journey just seeing this guy learn all these cool new skills I never expected how involved it would be being a parent but I'm all in this guy is so awesome huh? are you hungry right now yeah all right so let's go to mama and get you some food okay all right Superman Say bye to everyone. All right, so let me continue on. You know, when I was growing up, I remember my parents working their ass off. To give you a little bit of background, I was only three years old when we immigrated to the States from the Philippines and my parents pretty much started off with nothing. My dad started off in the States working as a janitor at schools and my mom as a waitress. And I can only imagine how difficult it was for them raising three children in a new country with barely any money so I will be forever grateful for all of their sacrifices but because they had to work so hard I didn't get a lot of time to spend with them growing up and now since it's my turn this time around I want to do things a little bit differently and I want to spend as much time as possible with Wolfie and just watch him grow up the last thing I want to do is be one of those dads that's never around and I know that in Japan it's super common for the dad to go to work every day and for the mom to stay home in fact it's so common that they have a word here in Japan called one ope which means one operation so the wife basically takes care of the kid all by herself but since Michael and I are full-time creators we have the opportunity to raise our child together which we plan on doing and these last couple of months releasing a video every week has just been a bit overwhelming so it's a little bit sad to say but I'm going to be taking a break from YouTube to spend more time with my family. At least this week I'll be taking a break. So I'll be back next week as usual, Saturday, 9 a.m. Japan Standard Time with my regular Japan content, more food tours, and even more day in the life videos. I've got some really cool people and cool jobs lined up. It's just been a real monster trying to get things coordinated during this pandemic. I mean, originally it was a challenge trying to get people to do a day in the life video but now with everything that's going on in the world it is incredibly difficult but nonetheless I got more stuff coming for you also I know that we're a little behind on the second channel Tokyo Zebra I think Wolfie is only about one week old but we are catching up in fact we just released a video yesterday so definitely check the link out in the description it's a place where we can share our family's journey as well as things that are going on behind the scenes that you don't get to see on this channel. So yeah, check out Tokyo Zebra. We released a video just yesterday. And before I leave, I'll give you a little preview of what we got up to this week and kind of the content you'll find on the Tokyo Zebra channel. It's my first time driving here in Japan with Wolfie in the back seat. Back on, but you're good, huh? and also his first time going to a Japanese Costco. Oh, wow, a Christmas tree! Oh, nice! <laughs> Again, thank you all for being a part of this. If you want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. And if you want to see more daily life vids or what's going to happen next week, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.